Unit 11. Changing roles in society. Page 58. Getting started. Activity 1. Listen and read. We have invited some students from Oak Tree School in Happy Valley to this Beyond 2030 Forum, and they are going to share with us their vision of the future. Would you like to go first, Fum? I believe the biggest change will take place within the school system. Apart from at school, we will also be learning from places which will give us real-life knowledge and experience, such as at a railway station, in a company, or on a farm. I agree. This real-life application of learning will give us a sense of participation, a feeling that we are part of the process. And what about the role of teachers? Ah, they will be more like facilitators rather than information providers. Fascinating. How else do you see the future, Nguyen? Well, I think the role of fathers will drastically change. Oh, yes? In what way? The modern father will not necessarily be the breadwinner of the family. He may be externally employed, or he may stay at home to take care of his children. And do the housework? Yes, it's work, paid or not, isn't it? Absolutely. The benefit will be that children will see their fathers more often and have a closer relationship with them. I don't see much of my dad, but I love every moment I spend with him. Well, we are certainly covering some interesting topics. Unit 11, page 62, a closer look, one, pronunciation, activity five, listen carefully and tick the correct box, then listen again and repeat. 1. No one can deny it. 2. All of us can see your point. 3. We will help him with the money. 4. You will be cooking? 5. Well, you may be right. Unit 11, page 62, a closer look, 1, pronunciation, activity 6, mark Mike sentences with falling or rising arrows, then listen and check. We have to educate the public about wildlife. Yes, that's important. And we must act to save endangered species. That helps. Keeping wild animals in zoos can help protect them. That's an important point. Zoos can make money for their conservation programs through charging entrance fees. Hmm, yes. I suppose so. Unit 11, page 67, skills 2, listening, activity 2, listen to the description of some changes in the roles of women in Kenya, decide if the statements are true or false. Back in the mid-20th century, Kenya was a more male-dominated society compared to today. Men were ahead of women in both education and employment, but the situation has changed a lot since then. More and more women work these days. They earn to support their families as well as to be financially independent. More women study nowadays. Higher education has witnessed a great rise in the number of women attending colleges and universities. 
Let's look at some figures. In 1995, 65% of Kenyan females stayed at home as housewives. This number dropped dramatically to 47% in 2010. It is predicted that this number will keep falling to around 30% in 2025. Only 22% of university students were girls in Kenya in 1995. 15 years later, in 2010. This number went up to 36%. Research shows that it will keep rising, and in 2025, about 48% of the student population will be made up of females. Unit 11, page 67. Skills 2. Listening. Activity three. Listen again to part two, and fill the blanks with the correct information. Let's look at some figures. In 1995, 65% of Kenyan females stayed at home as housewives. This number dropped dramatically to 47% in 2010. It is predicted that this number will keep falling to around 30% in 2025. Only 22% of university students were girls in Kenya in 1995. 15 years later, in 2010, this number went up to 36%. Research shows that it will keep rising, and in 2025, about 48% of the student population will be made up of females.